Hey folks, we're back again with uh, Let's Play a bit of Supersonic. Hold on a second. Now I can tell already I have the volume set too high. So I was getting uh, reverb on myself in my headphones. Sorry if I just deafened all of you. I did just realize though that um, if I'd have been thinking right, I probably would have done uh, something slightly different. But uh, we'll see whether or not I have the opportunity to. In the next turn, we're about to start, or we're about to finish our turn now. Because all my little guys are out in the field. I don't really have much else I can do. I've put out my different characters, and I'll end my turn. Oh no, Yugi boy. Air Ma oh, Air Max purchased the city hotel in Mexico City. See, everybody goes in turns like this, and since I was the first person, I could have gone and... Because I plan to eventually make my South American hub Mexico City, I could have purchased the city hotel there now and prevented them from doing it. But that's all right. We'll figure something out. Hmm. Okay. So Siberia, they actually started a flight this this turn. So that's good. Uh, they were the only people to. They. Uh, Let's see, quarterly report. Okay, so we all lost money this quarter. Air Mexico managed to lose the least amount. I lost the most. But don't worry, we'll turn this around. Siberia managed to sell some tickets and carry a total of 600 passengers around. Yep. So right now they're the king. If the game were to end right now, they would be the clear winners. Next year, the Olympics will be held in Melbourne. 1956 Olympics, folks. They're coming. Siberia ordered Viscounts. That is one thing, I guess. Relationships between uh, Great Britain and uh, the Soviet Union, not as good. But our home base is located in Europe, but we don't have any... What are you talking about, Lenin? You, like, Siberia has flights in Europe. We should immediately open new routes and capture the number one ranking in home base, Natasha. <laughs> we bought a grand hotel. Ah, sure, it's a grand hotel. But yes, uh, that is good news. So, she's back from having done that. That's good. Let's, uh... What can we put her to work doing now, then? Buying, uh... Keep pressing that button. Um, maybe buying... Seeing if there is still a, uh, a good business interest in Mexico. Mexico City. Take me down to a Mexico City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home, yeah, girl. I do like how each of these little areas has like their own like fun and funky theme. Eh, I'm not really that interested in any of these right now. Let's uh... Well, we're about to move into Africa, so let's see about buying a hotel there. All the different regions, they have their own little like theme songs. It's pretty cool. Alright, so... So you will get airport slots in Athens soon. You will get airport slots in Cairo soon. Oh, slightly less soon. You will get airport slots in Rome soon. And, uh... Lennon will continue to uh, just sort of hang out and keep us entertained. Because uh, that's what he's going to do for us. You'll see, after your first turn, and the first turn where I waste a whole lot of time explaining how the game works in a nutshell, um, you can get through turns pretty quickly because you find a lot of times there's nothing you can do. Um, let's go to the map here. What city are they flying to here? Oh, they're flying to Zurich. It's not a bad idea. I'm hesitant to get rid of these slots to uh, Helsinki and Munich and Zurich because 
well, at least these two are not very huge flights. I mean, if we do get into a battle and do a big turf war with Siberia here, um, we might need to open up some routes that aren't as profitable just so that we can carry more passengers and, you know, like, sock it to them. Because they don't, as long as you're profitable, the game doesn't care. It's based entirely on how many passengers you carry. Yep, they carried the same number of passengers again because they didn't change their routes either. Okay, yeah, I, I see. Let's move on. Although, by virtue of purchasing a hotel, I've become more profitable than any of the other businesses. My hotel in London is making money. Excellent. Yep, oh, we're in the last. Uh oh, tensions. Uh oh. I think it's the Suez Crisis. That is not good for Great Britain. Or France. Israel came out okay in that, but... Um, yeah, Lenin, I know. We still haven't done all that stuff. I hope those guys hurry up. And, uh... We acquired rights to five slots in Athens. Cool. We acquired... Good. Acquired rights to slots in Cairo. Time to start putting together some routes. Alright. That first button is for setting new routes. The new route will depart from London. Choose destination. Nothing here. No, actually something there. What type of plan will you use on the route? Alright. I guess we'll just use one because, you see, you uh, every time you put in more or fewer planes, you get the opportunity for more flights. But the number of slots we have, we can only put in five flights right now anyway. Depending on how well these five flights go. And we can set the fare to be above or below what the ordinary market value would be. I tend to just keep them at the default until uh, such time as uh, I feel like uh, I either need to try and milk a little more out of it. Or if the business isn't going too well, maybe offer a sale. You know, pretty basic stuff. Shall we go ahead and open this route? Yes. Alright folks, brace your ears. Time for a little animation. Yeah. We're taking off. To terrible, piercing jet noise. Even though we don't have any jets. <laughs> don't let facts get in the way though. We're going to open up a new route now. To, uh, a second new route as well. And we're going to go to Africa for this route because we just got those slots in Cairo. What type of plane will you use on the route, comrade? We will use this plane. How many planes will be used? Uh, we'll start with that. Three flights a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Shall we go ahead and open this route? Da. And once again, the historically inaccurate plane takes off into tomorrow. Or it takes off from tomorrow. Okay, now here. That little icon. That's what I'm talking about. Who will I send to negotiate for a regional hub? Uh, let's send her. Why not? So you see, it costs money to set up a hub. But it uh, costs less money now than it will later on in the game. So, As everything does, you need to get things accomplished as early as possible. Or as early as makes sense this region we have flight going to Cairo. So let's set up a hub. Yes. I'll get right on it. Watch me go vroom vroom. Okay. Now I'm going to do a little something here. You need to do a little figuring. Uh, you need to look at the planes that we have. Now, right now, the Lockheed Super Constellation is the plane with, at this point in the game, the farthest range. It has a range of 4,750 miles. So, pretty much that's the longest flight that we can plan at this point. But, one of the tools you can use, you click there, you can click on other cities. Okay, Lagos. You go there. You go to Nairobi. See? 
this point in history, Nairobi. Kenya, not an independent state or a nation at this point. But yes, you can do all this. You can find out what the distances of all these things are. I want to go to the Middle East. Oh, oh, flight to New Delhi is not too far. Bombay, Calcutta, Karachi. None of those are big enough places to uh, have their own, or to be their own hubs. Calcutta is, and then you've got uh, Baghdad and Tehran over here. But I don't want to use those because I want to use New Delhi because I want to get into Southeast Asia. And while you can get to Hong Kong and Bangkok, one night in Bangkok, it's a hard man, a ball. Um, I want to try and get to Tokyo. Yes. Okay, good. Because Tokyo is a good regional hub to have in Southeast Asia. Well, because, you know, Hong Kong, of course, not too bad for the Brits. But, uh, you know, like Beijing, maybe not so much. Like having flights into Shanghai, maybe not as easy. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to try and spread across the map as quickly as we can. You know, it's exactly like Pandemic, folks. We're just trying to get, get into every corner of the world, although in this game, they don't even give you the option of getting all the way down to Madagascar. But all right, New Delhi. How many slots? Give us some slots in New Delhi. Negotiations will take nine months. Cool, man. Go for it. Although, I am not sure whether, uh... It's interesting. Like, both, you know, like you learn A, from playing the game, and B, if you're aware of certain events in history, um, that you <laughs> kind of have an advantage. Um, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get those negotiations done before the Suez Crisis hits, at which point we won't be able to get flights in and out of Egypt, because we... Great Britain will be at war with Egypt. So, that'll be awkward. But anyhow, um, we got that flight going. Um, I feel like this other person should be doing something. You know what? I'll go ahead and have her... See if there are any more business opportunities in London that we want to purchase. That regional airline is expensive, as you can see, but it is so valuable, and it will be a lot more expensive later in the game. So let's go ahead and buy it now. It'll give us a big edge over the, over the Ruskies. No offense, Lennon. None taken. Alright, so... Let's end the turn. See what else is going on in the world. Air Text has opened up a new route between Dallas and New York and LA. From New York to LA. See, the thing is, is that America is so large a country, all of the routes that you can get in there, generally speaking, are pretty long. Ah, uh, Frankfurt, currently the hot spot for tourists. Ah, I am the leader. For interregional flights, because I'm the only one with any. And see, opened up a route to Athens, and immediately, boom, kicking Siberia's hinder. That's what we like to see. And boom, as soon as he opens any routes in North America, loads of passengers. Look at the profits I'm making. It's ridiculous, ridiculous, inconceivable. It's actually pretty conceivable. Um. <coughs> But, uh, yeah, folks, these are the regional rankings for 1955. Um, we've already shot to the lead in Europe, and uh, soon, I hope, to have uh, spread east before uh, Siberia does. But uh, that'll be something to figure out in the next video. And in the next video of Aerobiz Supersonic, we will uh, start the year 1966 second year of our simulation. Um, I am Bobo the Vulture, and I thank you very much for watching. Bye now.